You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping SmackDown from May 24th, 23rd. Oh, yeah. That was a little slip up. I, there. That was close. You yeah, know. I, didn't, right. I didn't look, so I messed <laughs> up. It's usually I look. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, so this was the uh, first episode of Jinder's title reign. Yeah. To which we start off the show with, all of a sudden, the police, there's like motorcycles coming to the ring, because I know you didn't see this part, yeah. um, and uh, you know, followed by a limo and stuff like that, and Christine was like, oh, it might be the fashion police. I was like, no, it's gender. Who are you, crazy? I, I was going to say, maybe they're <laughs> coming to arrest the Usos. Yeah, there you go. Because they must have escaped from prison, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 12 days, five days. Um so yeah, they kind of did the same thing that they did at the paper. Was it at the pay per view when they got with the, the carpet. carpet? Yeah, yeah, uh, they did that whole thing, and that was that. I'm sensing a lot of repeating actions going on with this. It, there's really not much they can do. It's true with the type of character. Ca- he I is. guess yeah, I guess so. It's He's the, just um, the evil villain. Well, and it's not even that. It's more like... He's just the foreigner. Yeah, that, that's probably a better way of putting yeah. it. Well, I mean, yeah, because that's what he plays yeah. up. That He's exactly. different. So. Which we saw that in another promo tonight when we get to that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so the show really opens in the arena with Shane McMahon coming down. Here comes the money. Yes. And uh, he comes out to say that Randy Orton's going to cash in his rematch at Money in the Bank. So... We'll get to see that match again. Whoa. Yep. Now the question is, um, how how often is this going to be interlaced with the money in the bank? Or is there going to be nothing with Orton until then? I That's what I think. So Orton's not going to be on TV yeah, until that? I think they're just going to. So it's just going to be a bunch of Punjabi celebrations yeah. every single <laughs> week. Imagine if they did that. It'd be fine. It'd be pretty funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their their plan is here. They know. have, what, three, three, three weeks? Four, is it three weeks? Yeah. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's three weeks away. Whew. So, well, at least we know Ginger's not going to lose the title. Uh, Actually, uh, maybe it's, it's more than it's, three weeks. Yeah, it's got to be more. It's got to be the end of June. Maybe. I'll find out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, so Shane announces that rematch at Money in the Bank, and then he, uh, introduces the participants for the Money in the Bank match, which, uh, first is AJ Styles, not a surprise. No. Um, Baron Corbin, not a surprise. Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and then Kevin Owens comes out. Yeah. And, uh, he, he said, Shane's well, like, cut, cut his music. <laughs> and then Owens is kind of like, What? And then uh, Shane announces Shinsuke is the fifth participant. And well, then, well, he says cut his music. Owens, you know you're not in this match. Oh, right. That's yes, he did say that. Yeah. Um, June eighteenth. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah, it's about a month. Yeah, yeah four weeks. A little less. So anyway, um, yeah. So uh, Owens is trying to figure out why three people that lost at Backlash are in well, the. Did you say that Nakamura came out? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I said he was yeah, in, yeah. yeah, the fifth part. Yeah. 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 Why uh, three losers at Backlash are in the Money in the Bank match. Yeah, because Dolph, uh, AJ, AJ, and, and Baron all yeah. lost. Um, but then, you know, Owens went on about, you know, how good he is and stuff like that. And he's the U.S. champion, so he, he should won. be in the match. He's the new that. face of America. Yes. And then Shane says, well, you're going to be the sixth man in the match. Yeah, I, I... I didn't like that they said it was going to be five. And Money in the Bank matches shouldn't be five. It should be? It should be six. Yeah. For a multitude of reasons. A, the build-up's significantly easier when you have even sides. Yeah. Well, think about the Fatal Five-Way. Exactly. On Which basically, I, it's just, that's the whole reason they're doing the Fatal Five-Way, I think, is to kind of uh, have their own version of the Money in the Bank Kind of. Well, it's the same concept. Yeah. Because they're going for a title match. Right. Um, that was different. But yeah, six is just a it's a much more solid number. It, get, it gives you more spots during the match. Right. And, and the buildup's easier. You know, more yeah. potential for who could win. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, 
Um, I like the fact that they did that. I also like the fact that they put Kevin Owens in the match. It's not very often where they put, like, undercard titles no. or title holders in, in the Money yeah. in the Bank match. No, it true. has happened before. Yeah. Probably with the IC title, I would just say. Most likely. Yeah. And, but it was it was good. But, yeah, this brings us back to uh, all my complaints about Backlash and what they were going to do after this. And I totally forgot Money in the Bank was next. Well, you mean in terms of the fact that you couldn't really tell where anything right. was going? Right, yeah, exactly. I think that was pretty much what we said. Yeah. Because, um, like, Shinsuke Dolph wasn't going to go anywhere. Right. So now if they're going to continue to have a semi-feud inside of this bigger feud, technically, mm-hmm. it makes sense because now Dolph is annoyed because he lost. Yes. But that's not enough to continue a feud, but no. it is good to have as, like, backstory mm-hmm. as a future thing. Um, and similar to Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin, yeah. which they had a match later on. Right, yeah. Which which... Shane which... And announced two matches for... Uh, yeah. Later on in the yeah, night, a little before that, everybody just kind of went around insulting each other. Oh yeah, they all there. they all they all got their uh, they're yeah, saying yeah. 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 They're Actually, saying. Baron Corbin's was pretty good. Yeah, he uh he pretty much run down everybody. Mm-hmm. He kept on telling. Oh, it was really funny when um AJ called the. Uh, oh okay. No, okay. No, I didn't about. think it, it no. wasn't funny. That's why. No, um, <laughs> he his mic that he had oh, from the beginning was a live mic to the back, but they couldn't hear him in the arena. <laughs> So we could hear what he was saying on TV, mm-hmm. but no one in the arena could hear what he was right. saying, which was funny. Which I think it was the same thing that happened with Fandango later on in the night. Uh, that's possible. Yeah. Um, but that, that was pretty funny because he was telling Owens to shut up. And um, and then he got a microphone that actually worked. And then he, was, <laughs> he, he, just he, he told him to shut said. up again. He's like, I know you said that already. <laughs> uh, so good. I like yeah. when heels work against heels. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, especially those too because they're they're not so much bad guys as they're jerks yeah so jerks kind of are jerks to everybody whereas like with Samoa Joe and Bray Wyatt they kind of work together a little bit because they have the common I like to do bad yes. things going mm-hmm. on um but yeah so you like you said that we're gonna get a rematch for Corbin and Zane later on tonight yeah and for the main event a tag team match with Owens and Corbin. For, oh, sorry, Owens and uh, and Dolph versus AJ and Nakamura. Yes. Um, Some funny that they were bringing up while they were, I guess, doing the introductions. Um, they they said that Owens had experience in the Money in the Bank match, and so did Ziggler. Ziggler was the only one who won it. Sami Zayn was in last year's Money in the Bank match. It was yes, but they they I guess failed to mention that. Yeah, I guess yeah. I think they just said that Dolph was the only one who's ever won it, and that's what he also said, which is all he brought to the match basically. Yeah, is why he was in it. Uh huh. Pretty much. Yeah. It's like you guys, I won this already, and I cashed it in, so that's why yeah. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Um, first match of the night we had. Uh, I think this tag team match was announced last week. Probably, yeah. I know with, they. I know they said it like during, right before the commercial. Oh yeah, the it was beginning. like the backstage. Uh, yeah, it they're, was they're Charlotte through. and Becky Lynch versus Natalia and Carmella mm. with um, Naomi. Yeah, and well, everybody Sabina had. On the outside. Yeah, everybody had their their friends on the outside. Yeah. So we kind of had interference throughout the match with the welcoming committee. Mm-hmm. Not a huge surprise. Nah. Um, this was a typical tag team match where they isolated the face for it. Most of the time. It's, and, uh, it's such a weird like situation when you have uh, the two best wrestlers on, <laughs> on a the, tag team. Yeah. yeah. And they're facing probably two of the weaker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, Carmella, I would say, is probably the weakest. Well, I don't know how Tamina is. I'm assuming in terms of like physical ability. Yeah. Tamina's probably better. Well, even just Carmella's ring presence. Yeah, yeah, she's you know, not the threatening. slaps, the yeah. hair pulls, yeah. you know. Well, it's funny though, diva era stuff. Well, it's funny because Sasha Banks does a lot of that stuff too, but she just seems more legitimate. Mm-hmm. Well, I think she utilizes it more in moves and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Not, you know, relying on that as your means of offense. That's true. Um, but yeah, so uh, Ellsworth got up on the apron, and Naomi went up onto the apron and kicked his hand off, and he fell, and you know, was selling it, and. Uh, I guess Becky grabbed Carmella and uh, threw her into the uh, disarmor, and that was it. Right? That was it. 
Um, yeah, there was two hot tags in the match. Like I said, they were working Charlotte for a bit, or Becky first, and then Charlotte, and then Becky again, and then Becky ended up getting the win. Now, my question is, mm. why is it that Becky didn't have her hair like done up like a rooster again? I don't remember. So weird. I don't know. It was like such a weird thing. Uh, Christine was telling me about it. Because weird. I guess something with the braids or something in the sides. I, don't know. I just I thought it looked weird. I didn't mention it the other day, yeah. so that's why I it figured. was different. Yeah, which I think Tamina's actually had that hairstyle before. Yeah, but I think when it's bright red, it's a little, <laughs> a little more obvious or a little, a little more, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Moving on. Yes. Uh, we got Sami Zayn versus Corbin, the rematch that we had mentioned which, earlier. I, I wrote in the notes. I don't know if this is exactly how the finish happened because I turned around and Didn't then he turned just back. Roll him up? I, I guess that's what I kind of figured. I, I happened. thought that's what happened. I kind of just <laughs> looked down and looked up or whatever, and all of a sudden, uh, yeah, Sami Zayn got the win. Yeah, it's not very often you see something like this. No, but I guess that was just kind of to build up uh, what happened later on mm-hmm. or afterward, I should yeah, say, yeah, yeah. because I think Corbin kept going on that it was a fluke. Yeah, that Sammy had won it. Well, he backlash. said that at the beginning, right? So he said it was a fluke, yeah. and he would win if they fought again or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Sammy rolls him up and gets a really quick win. Yep. Um, and then after the match, Baron yeah. proceeded to beat the ever living snot <laughs> out of him. Yeah, kind of just being himself. Yeah, he was uh, throwing him around the arena. Yeah, he threw him over the uh, where the ring announcers table is. Or uh-huh. area, I should say, because yeah. now it's its own little cutout. Yeah, it's got his little little cubby. Yeah. <laughs> so he threw him over there, then grabbed a chair, hit him with it, threw him over the barricade. Through the and, stands. Yeah. I think he picked him up and, like, dropped him on something, like, head uh, face first. It was on it, one of those, like, electrical tables yeah, in the yeah, back? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, it was similar to what he did to Dean, but no sparks. Yeah. <laughs> um, But, yeah, so then he just uh continued to beat the crap out of him until he was... Done. Uh, stuck between referees and Sammy. Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And, then and he, just left. Yep. And then he got a... Uh, Sammy got stretchered out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, so that was that. It's true. Not much you can do, really, here. Yeah, well, it's weird because you don't know... Because they're obviously both in the Money in the Bank feud, but, like, are they writing off Sammy until the match? You know what I mean? It would be weird. It Maybe would they're be. trying to rebuild Baron's um, mean streak. Yeah, I guess I don't know because it's... technically he never lost it. He put on a really good performance at Backlash. Backlash yeah, absolutely. So those know. matches have usually been quite good. So I don't know. They uh, who knows where they're going with this? this. Yeah, I don't know. It keeps on happening. Mm. Anyway, um, so after after he gets carted away. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a backstage segment with uh, Shinsuke and AJ because this is going to be their first time ever teaming together. Yes, and then they talked about their history. They obviously didn't go into detail. Well, about yeah, because they it, don't really Wrestle talk Kingdom too much together. about that stiff. Yeah, but they did have a match over in Japan, which was fantastic. Um, and yeah, it's the first time they're teaming tonight, and. Uh, at Money in the Bank, there'll be opponents, and Shinsuke kind of said that he was going to win the match. He plans on it, yep. at the very least. Yeah. We shall see. Yeah, kind of uh, tough to figure out what they're, how they're going to go with the winner of this match. I think it's going to be a little more obvious where they're heading it's later closer on. Closer to the, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. We have almost a month to go. Yeah, because right now, like, the obvious choices are either Corbin or Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think AJ needs to win it. I think there's a very good chance that coming out of this, he could very well be Jinder's next opponent anyway. Yeah. So, it, even without well, winning... that's depending if Jinder beats Orton. Well, assuming that he does. Yeah. He could very well be the next one up mm-hmm. anyway. So, there's no need for him to win Money in the Bank. Because he's always a threat to be a champion. Sure. Yeah. Um, well, everybody technically in this match is pretty much... Uh, Sami Zayn isn't. Yeah, I he's guess. He's capable. Depends what week he's booked. Well, I was going to say, he's capable, but, but the he way won't. that he's been written, he's not Yeah, a viable contender. Baron Corbin would be, 
but they're, I don't think they're going to put uh, very similar characters against no. each other. But had, if Corbin wins, it'll probably be a long time before he cashes yeah, in. Exactly. So, um, so he'll probably hold it until at least Survivor Series. I yeah, say. probably whenever if AJ wins it or if if uh, Zayn ends up with yeah, it, or a something. weaker a weaker opponent. Well, more more so a, a face, well, not a too. not a heel. That's true. So, um, but, uh, up next we had the uh, fashion files, potentially the, the last one file. Yes. So I guess they redecorated Shane's office as uh, their police station. Yeah, they had the same board that they used yeah. in the other episodes. Oh, no, they did not. Well, it was the same board but different pictures. Yeah, there's some different yeah. pictures. Yeah, because they, they had the Mean different. Street Posse up there. Yeah. No, that uh, one's been in. Was it, it? Yeah, it was in all of them. No. Yes. No. It was. Mm, it I was. don't think so. It was. All right, I don't think you were for it. It was. It was. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have... I love the Mean Street Posse. Back I, in I'm, the day. I'm almost positive it's been in every right. single one. Sure, we'll go with your word for now. Good. <laughs> um, so they uh, they're handing in their badges to Shane for whatever reason. Well, I guess because they failed. Yeah, because they failed to crack the case of the Uggos. Yeah, and then he's like, and then like, okay, we'll hand in our guns too. <laughs> Shane's, Shane's like, like, you, you have, have guns. guns? <laughs> So then uh, they both pull out little water pistols and put them on the desk. Yep. Um, and Shane's like, you guys know you're not real cops, right? And I was like, yeah, my dad keeps telling me that. <laughs> Maybe I should believe it. <laughs> oh, this is some good stuff. And I guess Tyler went to hand his belt in, and all of a sudden his pants fall down. And Shane's like, whoa, whoa that's enough. I- I've seen enough of you. Um, and he goes, y- you guys are proving yourself. And he's like, tonight I'm going to have a singles match. It's going to be... Tyler Breeze versus Jay Uso and Fandango versus Jimmy Uso, which is not very often that they have matches like this in the same night. But obviously, what yeah, they ended or up going... after their tag match. Well, yeah, usually <laughs> it's before. Yeah, yeah. but uh, which they could have done this. What they? I, I mean, they did have Breezango be the only tag match over the last two weeks. It's they true. The Colognes and and uh, the Ascension. But I think yes. it makes more sense to have other tag teams. Oh yeah, no, I'm agreeing because they they could have done this, yeah. but this would just be doing what the what Raw's been doing. I know, and you would have never gotten any tag team matches. It's true. So uh, after that, yeah, we had the Punjabi celebration. Yeah, no, I'm confused about why it says single oh, matches between because Breeze I and didn't... Fandango and. Because I didn't know which oh, Uso was going to be in the match. Oh, okay. So that's that why makes, that makes I, more sense. When I said it, I looked down. Okay, I yeah. gotcha. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had the uh, the the Jinder's Punjabi Championship celebration. Yeah, he came out to um, I guess some sort of Indian. Uh, yeah, it's like the it's like the celebration. It's like what they do at weddings for in, like Indian weddings. Yeah. Um, it reminded me an awful lot of that outsource show. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. That was, that was such a good, a good show. show. Yeah. Anyway, um, you know what? I'm, I'm proud of the fans in this match. Well, everyone was very supportive. They were on their best behavior. There well, that's no, too. There was no uh, really. U- bad. I mean, yeah. When Jinder first when came in in the beginning of the night, they chanted "USA." Oh that yeah. Was, but that was about it. That, but that's an appropriate, right? Or relatively speaking, I, I guess. Yes. Well, no, because when he speaks or when he has his promo, talking about how. Um, you people don't respect right. me. Yeah, like Which he a, did U- say. a USA chant is kind of expected. Yeah, because you know technically what he's doing is ga- is trying to gain heat from being an outsider. Right. So yeah, so. such a weird thing wrestling. It is. Yeah, and it's it's always timed so bad. Yeah, I guess. Well, after what happened the other day. Well, no, Vince is just. Got bad luck, I think. I guess that's, yeah. Because it's not like he intentionally does things, well, but there is. Because been... I think the whole Muhammad Hassan thing was like right before 9 11 right or something. Or was it, it was right after. I remember, I know they cut it short, mm. but yeah, yeah, it was just bad timing. And then we had the terrorist incident on Monday, right? It was Monday in uh, in England, in the UK. I guess so. Which yeah, today's Wednesday. I read today that I think they were canceling some NXT shows because they were in the UK. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. They also probably aren't going to have the rest of those Ariana Grande uh, concerts because yes. that's where it happened. Yeah. Um, 
But that's the weird thing, though, because everyone associates, like, terrorist stuff with anyone who's, like, past Europe. Yeah. But oh, I know. but he's Indian. It's not the same. I, but, I understand that. Yeah, I know. That. I'm just saying it's... But it, some people do not understand yeah. that. So, because, like, India which, is probably one of the most, like, non-confrontational. Yeah, which Jinder went on. Well, I think they're went, probably trying to hammer home the point that he's Indian. No, no, no. When he was on Talk is Jericho, he was mm-hmm. kind of kind of telling people that, that he's not Muslim and yeah. things like that. Yeah. yeah because people who want to see him and automatically think, mm-hmm. oh, this guy's a Muslim. Well, he's wearing a turban or whatever the yeah, hat Yeah, but he's called. Sikh, so... Uh, well, I know yeah. that, but I'm just saying that people generalize. Yes. So, you anyway. What happens? Generalize. But yeah, like I said, wrestling's weird. <laughs> or in a world where everyone's trying to have people be accepted for what they are, this is something where people automatically assume that if you're different, you're bad. Yeah, it's true. <sighs> Whatever. It, it's uh, eh, eh, whatever, but it's supposed to kind of be out of this world. It's true. It's yeah. not. Ne- it's not meant to be believable. Yeah, like when I sit and watch wrestling, I kind of turn my uh, logic brain off. Yeah, turn your logic meter well, off. No, yeah, <laughs> and then we do uh, predictions with logic, and you know, you know how that happen- works out. Yeah, I win. <laughs> <laughs> I was more talking about like WrestleMania and uh, not WrestleMania. Um, what was the other one before that? Fast payback, lane? payback. Oh, we we did terrible. Oh yeah, we did horrible. Yes, yes, we, we went logical booking. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the, the, it was it was nice. Yeah, the, the music was cool and the dancing and everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and, it was good to see something different. Yeah, and then he dropped the the promo. Everybody hates yeah. me promo, which I believe they said he was the fiftieth WWE. Yes, that's a little bit of a surprise. Yeah. That they put something like that on him. Or it could be a lie. And, <laughs> they uh, are known for that. So that could be the case. Yes. And they could have just said that. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Um, but yeah, they're like I said, they're obviously trying to push really hard the, the Indian yeah. heritage thing. Which is good. Yeah. Something different. Multicultural. Yes. Which uh, the WWE needs that. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> there's never been a uh, an African-American WWE champion. I guess that's. True. I don't remember where I heard that, but I heard that somewhere. Because yeah. um, because Farouk was WCW champion. Yes. Yeah. So there's never been a WWE champion. Yeah. Well, which is Booker really T, what did he hold the? He had the world heavyweight title. Oh, okay. No, no, I don't think he ever won a title in WWE. No. I don't think so. He's been in title matches. Oh, he came in with the WCW title. <laughs> yeah, and then he lost that to The Rock. Right. I don't think he ever won a title. Yeah. And it's funny because he... No, no, he had to have been yeah. WWE champion. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Unless... Maybe. unless Because I know he was on SmackDown. He was the champion. That, But that might have been the heavy, world heavyweight title All at right. the time. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you uh, you continue. I will look this up. Cause okay. Booker, Fantastic. Booker T. Um, so up next, we had the Jey Uso versus Tyler Breeze match. Yes. Which... Uh, <laughs> Jey Uso starts cutting a promo on Tyler Breeze in the ring, and all of a sudden Fandango is up on the apron behind him and sprays him with the uh, squirt gun. Yeah, I, I guess he didn't hand it back, or I think he handed no, one. No, he back. kept them. Oh yeah, yeah, that's but, right. No, he gave them back. To yeah, him. he did. Um. So yeah. So Jay was distracted by this, and all of a sudden Tyler rolled him up for a three count. So this was literally a. Uh, Five second match. The second time yes. in the show that yeah. there was a. Uh... That's true. And uh, right after this, we have uh, Jimmy versus Fandango. So Breeze is outside the ring and he puts on the wig because I guess he had a box with him of, the, oh, uh, of the, props yeah, or of whatever. Props. Yeah, exactly. So he put on the wig and grabbed a pair of handcuffs out of it and started taunting Jay. So Jay's chasing him around the ring at this point. Um,. And Tyler goes into the ring, and Jimmy goes after him, but then's rolled up by Fandango. So uh, another quick match. Mm-hmm. Did you find up what you were looking for? Yes, uh, Booker T has never won the WWE Championship. Okay, he won the world. Uh, he won the World Heavyweight Title, which is technically just the WCW title. Right. So he won that twice, even though it's stated here one time for each of them, but it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess. Uh, is that the case? All right. So, 
back at it. It wasn't that big of a deal. No. But. So uh, Brizongo cuts a promo on the Usos saying that they deserve a rematch now because uh, they just beat them. It's true. So they the beat Usos, both of them. Yeah. So the Usos are like, all right, let's go right now. So uh, I think we... They started the match and then cut to commercial break. Yeah, which they do this that was a lot. the second time in the night we had a match that was still going on while commercials were up. So we oh, got the yeah. picture in picture. Yeah, it's it's a little weird because um, it's hard to focus on it with the commercials because yeah, they're so loud. Yeah, and then you're like expecting to hear like commentary and uh, and like mm. the match sounds, but you just hear the commercials. Yeah, so it's a little weird. Yeah, whatever. You don't have to watch it, technically. No, I put it on mute. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah so now they have their, uh, like you said, the title match starts. Um, yeah, the Usos pretty much took control of Tyler Breeze very early on in the match. Um, Poor yeah. grandma. <laughs> yeah, no, I was dressed up, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so Fandango is able to get the hot tag, and then he starts controlling the match. And basically, the Usos, uh, I think they put Breeze down. I think they they super kicked them both. Uh huh. And then Fandango went, I think, up to the top rope. Um, yeah, drawing a blank here. I don't remember. You don't remember either. I'm sleeping. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, I thought you woke up for this match. No, I oh, I woke up man. after it. There you go. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, basically the Usos. Double teamed uh, Fandango and got the victory. Uh, uh, yeah, he hit the frog splash. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, this is probably going to be the uh, Fashion Police end. Uh, well, I guess that would make the, sense. For their... For the current... Cur- yeah. yeah. I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess maybe that would suggest that the New Day is coming to face the Usos. Yeah. They did bring them up on talking smack yeah. they, well they brought up everybody technically yeah they did but i think because they were going on about how jbl said the usos were the best tag team right now yeah they were not happy about yeah. that jbl says stupid things so it's true yeah all right um so up next is a backstage segment where uh, natalia was talking about getting a title shot yep. with shane mm-hmm. um and then carmella came in and becky came in tamina came in and charlotte and everybody's like oh, Everyone, a title I, match. I deserve a title yeah. shot I'm here too. Yep. So, so that's kind of. I was half expecting them to set up the first women's money in the bank match right there. That would have made too much sense. I know, because mm-hmm. you know they're not going at the money in the bank pay per view. So like, let's just have a fatal five way, which is Raw's thing, by the way. <laughs> um, have that uh, next week on SmackDown, which yeah. is weird because you think they'd push it back a little further. No, it's at Money in the... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's next week. And then yeah. the winner faces Naomi at Money in the Yeah, Bank. but I guess right. then again, they usually establish the the uh, number one contender, and then they have a feud between the number one contender yeah. and the champion. Who knows? There's years. still time. They could technically make it. Well, they could, but the match is next week for the number one contender. That doesn't mean anything. Well, you're not going to have a four-person Money in the Bank match. Um, yeah, I guess they wouldn't bring Lana back for that. No. I she think still has yet to debut. Yeah, I. Oh yeah, they probably did play a. They did yeah. at some point in the night. I don't know what color she was wearing. So well. Yeah, I don't know. That for the last few weeks, I think they've just been playing like compilations of yeah. all the other ones. And we did not see Rusev again tonight. Yeah, mm. and it's funny because his first one, he said that he demanded a title, a title shot, shot at Money, Money in the Bank. Bank, and that's obviously not going to happen. No. Unless, like, he crashes the Money in the Bank match or something like that. I guess. Or they just forgot about him. Yeah. They probably Who forgot knows? about him. Weird. Very weird. Anyway. Um, so up next is the main event. Yeah. AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler and Kevin Owens. Yes. This is a good match. Hmm? Um, Which, it's not a surprise well, at all. Well, you have Four. literally <laughs> the four best wrestlers in... In the company, minus wrestlers who aren't on the main roster. The only ones who you can really argue is Seth and, I guess, Zane And Finn, yeah. Yeah. And Zane. Yeah. Those three. Well, yeah, pretty much. It's really hard to argue for anyone else. Yeah. Because, 
like Kevin Owens just puts on great matches all the time. It's entertaining. Yeah. Dolph Ziggler, if he has a good opponent, puts on really good matches. Yeah. AJ and Shinsuke. I honestly think that of the four of them, Shinsuke might be the weakest in terms of like matches because he's just dominant with his like striking and stuff. Well, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's a, a different, different kind different of style. Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. So for the WWE style, I think technically he's the least, I guess, equated to mm-hmm. the uh, the style. So I would say that's fair. Anyway, that's all four of them very good though. Yeah. But uh, again, this was the typical formula for a tag match, mm-hmm. where uh, Owens and the fat Dolph. guy keeps on holding people down. <laughs> the Eric Cartman of SmackDown. That, yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, that's what uh, AJ yeah. called him. Yes, yeah, that's, that's right. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, so forgot yeah, about that. They isolated uh, Nakamura for most of the match. Then he got the hot tag to AJ, and then they dominated AJ. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And then Nakamura got the hot tag again, and he was controlling the match. And then we got back and forth action between them. Uh-huh. And uh, Shinsuke hit Kevin Owens with the Kinshasa for the win. Yeah, for some reason, it seems like the two that he's hit are not as strong as the ones in NXT. Yeah, they, look, they looked very uh, tempered. It could have been the camera angle. It's Yeah, I think it's... Because I think both times they've had the... The moving camera, mm-hmm. whereas in NXT it's usually the hard, hard camera. camera. Yeah, so that could be it. Also, who knows? Because he did break what some other did... Joe's nose. Oh, jaw, right? Or dislocated his jaw? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot yeah. about that. He also broke the Aries face. I I hold broke his face. But that was not a concussion. That was just a kick. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And then I don't know, but I don't remember who actually hurt Dash Wilder. Because he was in a match, I believe, with Shinsuke. I, oh, yeah, that's it was, true. I don't know if it, it was, was at a house match. show. Yeah. I don't know if it was a tag match or what it was. Well, yeah, but it wasn't. It was like an ankle injury, wow. wasn't it? What's going on? Didn't he? No, no, it was oh. Kofi who hurt his yeah, ankle. Yeah, he had his jaw wired shut. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I knew he was hurt. I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it was probably him. <laughs> we'll just go. So what you're saying is you we heard need to have here. a Seth Rollins for Shinsuke Nakamura yeah, match. They can kill each other. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, yeah, Shinsuke hits uh, Owens with a Kinshasa. Like yeah. I said, it looked I a little... told the people that. I know, but it looked yeah. a little tempered, yeah. like, like we said. But again, this is Shinsuke in a whole new territory. It's true. So I'm sure they're not going to want him to go full force. And already. kill people? Yes. It's a good call. Yeah. but uh, Very good. Yeah. So this has been our SmackDown review. It's true. Um, catch yeah. us next week for our Raw and SmackDown reviews as well. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.